Hi everyone, my name is Victoria Yampolsky. I'm the president and founder of the Startup Station, an education and finance advisory for early stage startups. Welcome to our weekly strategic finance tips. Um, in this video, we're gonna be discussing um, a very important question, which is, are you asking for enough money? Right, some people um, are afraid to ask for uh, enough money. What is enough we're gonna talk about in this video? Some people ask for too much. Let's, let's talk about this. Um, so what should you um, think about here? Number one, you should figure out how long do you need money for, right? Like what period of time? And the answer to this question is until you reach your next milestone. This can be 18 months. This can be 12 months. This can be six months. Does not matter. Typically, when you make your business investable for the next um, group of investors, that is when you reach your next milestone. Or maybe you make your business um, operational on its own and you won't need further investment. That is also a milestone that you may want to reach. Second question is, what do you need money for? And of course, we all know the answer to that question, which is salaries, product development, marketing, and operating expenses, right? These are all uh, things that uh, Typically, founders don't have any problem with. I do want you guys to pay attention to uh, these three items, which are typically overlooked, which are contingency 10 to 20% of your funding needs. This is the budget for the unexpected, something that you can't really predict, right? Because you can't always um, see into the future. And some things take longer. I mean, this is just a reality. Some things you haven't thought about because this is your first time doing something. So, Budgeting 10 to 20% of your budget as a contingency is a good practice from the financial prudency uh, uh, policies, right? And then you should also consider things like capital expenditures and working capital. So if you are a tech startup, for you, capital expenditures are going to be things like computers and furniture. If you're going to have an office and you need to purchase something, something that you can touch, tangible assets. And working capital, this may arise in the following situations. If you are a product startup, right, then uh, you may have inventory, right? You need to be producing products before you can sell them. Uh, you may also have capital expenditures as a product startup, which could be some equipment you need to purchase and other things. Um, and if you are a revenue generating startup, and if you are working with um, enterprise customers where you extend a credit to them, meaning that you don't get money when you sell them something. Let's say you give them terms, they will pay you in 30 to 60 to 90 to 180 days. This means that you're going to generate accounts receivable, right? You're going to have a credit to customers and this will tie money up in your company where you sold something to them, to your customers, but you haven't still gotten cash for it. So uh, in that case, uh, you need to budget for the effect of accounts receivables when you're considering your needs. And that is only when you have revenue, right? It's not going to arise if you um, don't reduce your funding needs by the amount of revenue that you can get. But if you do, then you need to account for the amount of money you're not actually going to get until some point in the future. If you want to learn more about working capital, we have videos on our channel about uh, what does the working capital mean and why it matters, as well as how to calculate funding needs, which is going to be video at the end of this. Um, in the end, right, in the end, what I want to say that it's not about raising too much or too little, right? Because what is too much or too little? This is a relative uh, determination. What it is about is it about raising enough money for the stage you're in to get to the next stage. And here you go. If you like this video, please share with your colleagues and friends in the startup community. Sign up for our YouTube channel to watch other strategic finance tips every Tuesday. And follow us on social media for more educational and other content every week. If you want to learn about our unique framework for modeling credible financials, watch our masterclass, Build Credible Financials for Your Venture. The link is in the description. The masterclass is completely free. Thank you for watching and I will see you next week.